Hey guys, this is Zach Levy of the Wolverine.com, and we're back with another signee spotlight featuring Michigan's 2024 recruiting class. With us is on 300 linebacker Cole Sullivan from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Cole, thank you so much for having, for being on here. Just first off, how does it feel knowing that you have put pen to paper and you are officially signed with the Wolverines? It's just a great feeling, you know, knowing that I, I'm officially a Wolverine now, and then uh, I'm just super excited to, to for my future uh, there in Ann Arbor. Now, when looking back on your recruitment, you committed in May, which followed two unofficial visits to Ann Arbor two months prior. Um, what led to you really committing in terms of just understanding what's available in Ar Ann Arbor, and why did you feel like Ann Arbor was home for you? Yeah, I, I would say – you know, the overall culture of the place, just the blue collar work ethic that I felt uh, around the team and with the coaches. Um, also, just like, you know, feel, feeling like a priority. The coaches all made me feel like a priority. Um, and also having a couple uh, Pittsburgh connections with Coach Campbell and Coach Herbert that, was, that um, made me feel more at home, too. And just seeing the upward trajectory of the team and – uh, you know, I, I just wanted to be – just made me feel like I want to be a part of that. How were you feeling knowing that you found your school, like the immediate aftermath that you announced? And then how was the reaction from everyone, you know, close to you and really around Central Catholic? You mean after after I made my decision? Mm -hmm. my yeah. Yeah, it was just – it was just really exciting. Like, it was kind of just a sigh of relief in, in uh, my eyes because – the recruiting process is pretty stressful, but just knowing that I found my spot was uh, really relieving and everybody was just super supportive around me and super happy for me. You, the the game day experience in Ann Arbor at the big house is one of like the big recruiting tools that Michigan uses, but you committed without having seen a game, but you went to every home game that was available for you to go to this season. Just what did you see at the big house that really caught your eye and just going to all those home games, just how was that experience? Yeah. Um, the game, the game day experience was really amazing. They, I mean, the, the crowd was just really into it. Like the, the place was going crazy after every play and, uh, you know, just seeing the support from the fans and the alumni um, and everybody there is it, a, a great, you know, it's just great to see that we're going to have the support of like the biggest support system in the world, in the country. Like, uh, that's just a great, great thing to know. After the Ohio State game, I saw you and the other commits running to the middle of the field, right, in celebration. Just have you ever done that before, uh, running out to a field and celebrating with, what, 50,000 people in the middle of the field? Yeah, no, that was that was a first. I've never stormed a field or a court or anything like that. It, it was just – yeah, it was fun. I mean, it, it, it was great to be, like, just in celebration, uh, obviously – Biggest biggest game of the year, uh, may, maybe besides the Big Ten championship, but you know that that's the game that that put them there, and uh, it yeah it was it was just a great great experience um, celebrating with everybody there, uh, yeah. Now you you are early enrolling, so that Ohio State game was like the last time you're going to be there as a fan for the next four years, just. What's your excitement really to early enroll and get started with the strength and conditioning program and practices? Like, how excited are you just to get there and get started early? Yeah, I'm real excited to get started early um, so that I can uh, just get get adjusted to everything. Um, you know, I'll be taking some classes there, get an extra semester of classes, uh, you know, be getting in the weight room with Coach Her, which I'm real excited to do. And uh, it also give me a chance to go through extra um, so I can get that under my belt and get like learn the playbook and I uh, get some more experience before uh, the fall season comes around. So I'll be uh, definitely more prepared um, with this extra half to half year. Now, defensive coordinator Jesse Minter was one of the key coaches and you landing your commitment of several months ago. Just how's your relationship with Minter specifically and your excitement just to be learning under him and his philosophies? Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a growing relationship. Uh, he, he was a big part uh, in my decision. And, uh, 
you know, his dad is now the interim linebacker coach too. So I've been getting to know him better as well. But obviously, like we see the production of his defense on the field, and it, it's just really, really exciting and and uh, great to know that like I'm going to be a part of that one day. And I hope to just, um, you know, continue this, uh, get get continually like getting this thing rolling and uh, keep this thing rolling on, on the path that it's been on. Uh, Coach Harbaugh too, Jim Harbaugh, just how, how big of a role did he play in you deciding and really for you to come back so much, just how how well are you guys growing uh, as a bond, you know, on and off the field? Like, how is that with Coach Harbaugh? Yeah, he uh, he was a big part of my my decision. And uh, he I feel like he's a, a really, really great person to just be around. And uh, I feel comfortable talking to him about almost anything like not only football but um just life in general anything that bring uh comes up and i think he'll just be a great mentor to have in my corner for uh these next couple years now it's not just you all the true linebackers in this class have stuck through it and are are enrolling right like after the chris partridge release what did you kind of learn about yourself during that? And what did you learn about Michigan? And what did you learn about just the direction of the program, despite the fact that Partridge is not on staff? Yeah, I think at first my initial reaction was I was I was just kind of like very confused and not, I was very unsure about like maybe, you know, of course those thoughts pop into your head, like maybe, maybe I should reconsider my decision. But then after, after like thinking it through, you know, I didn't just commit to this school just for one person. I mean, Coach Partridge was, he, he is a great coach, but, uh, you know, he, he's not the only reason why I love the University of Michigan so much. And, uh, you know, there's still, everything that I committed to is still there at the end of the day. And uh, I'm sure that this, this uh, defense is still going to be great. We're going to get, uh, they're they're, I'm, uh, they're thinking about hiring a new linebacker coach, and I'm sure it's going to be an amazing coach. And you know, every everything that that I, I want and need is still there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, of course. Um, when you look at that linebacker group, as you mentioned, this season, whether it was in person or when they played on the road, just what's really impressed you about that unit and how they've played this season? Yeah, I think. They're, they're just they play really smart really tough uh they never they never miss their assignment and they're always where they're supposed to be and uh it's that that's a really tough thing to do sometimes i mean linebacker is is a tricky tricky position because you you got to determine whether you're in uh pass coverage or or you got to fill the run support right away so uh you know they and they've done a really really well really good job of doing both now, for those who don't know, Cole finished his senior year with 105 tackles or, you know, not an exact number, but over 100 tackles at least this season. So um, when you look at your potential fit in that defense, just how do you think you can make it an immediate impact? Yeah, I think uh, I think I, I can make an immediate impact by being just a versatile player. Um, I can play um, – the mic will or outside and uh you know i i got uh some length i can use my length my speed and agility uh to just get get around blocks and make make some short tackles now you like as we mentioned you and the rest of the linebackers in, in the 2024 class are still committed and that includes four star jeremiah beasley on 300 jane smith just How's your relationship with those guys specifically as you've gotten to connect with them over the phone and really to Zach Ludwig, who's, you know, less than a 30 minute drive from you guys, from you. So how are you guys bonding and your excitement just to be learning with them these next four years? Yeah. I mean, it's really exciting to, to get to know them. Obviously they're all great players. So it's uh it's very reassuring to know I'm going to have those guys next to me through a, uh, and you know, as as my teammates, and uh, I just can't wait to get to get to know them even more when we when we uh, move in together. But it's gonna it's gonna be really really fun getting to play next to them.
now there's over 20 of you guys, um, you know, being able to connect over the phone and that group chat that you guys have, just seeing each other on visits, just how is it with all of them? And how are, how would you explain why you guys have gotten so close these past few months? Yeah, I think, I mean, it, it's, it's awesome how we uh, are able to connect. And uh, I think this whole, the whole recruiting class uh, has just been like welcoming of, of each other. Like we all just like really, really uh, welcome each other. Like it's not, um, you know, trying to, I don't know, like I, I guess some people might expect you to try to be intimidated by, by the other recruits or something like that. But no, it's been, it's been the complete opposite really. And uh, we're all just re really excited to get together because we, we feel like we, we could do something special. Now, as mentioned before, you and Zach Ludwig, you know, are in the Pittsburgh area. How would you best describe a Pittsburgh football player and how that how Pittsburgh football players could impact a school like Michigan? Like what sets you guys apart? Yeah, I think I think Pittsburgh, a Pittsburgh football player is uh, usually just just hard nosed, tough and uh, very hardworking and determined. And honestly, I feel like that that fits the model of Michigan defense really well. And I, I think there's a lot of the same values from Pittsburgh into the the Wolverines defense. And uh, I think, I mean, to me, that's that's also part of the reason why I love Michigan so much is uh, is is because of that. So I think uh, that's how we could make an impact. I assume you're a Steelers fan, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. The the pedigree of their linebackers throughout their many years is well documented. Like, have you ever thought, have you ever compared yourself to one of those like former greats, you know, like Lambert or Ham or any of those guys, like someone that you can feel like you can, you, you play sort of the same. Um, I would not, maybe not one of the former greats, but I, I could kind of see myself potentially being like a TJY that they have right now. And uh, I, I think we got kind of the similar skill set. Now he's he's more of an edge rusher, um, but he also he plays some outside linebacker too. And I but I think I could end up being being something like that one day. If you end up like T.J. Watt, you will go down in Michigan lore forever. So it's, <laughs> uh, that's a good goal to reach. But um, I know you can't predict the future. But if where do you see yourself in three to four years, or where do you hope to see yourself in three to four years, and where do you see the Michigan program in three to four years? I mean that that's a tough question because, like you said, I mean I could see myself a almost anywhere on the on the on the field. But if I were if I were to say, I would probably think, you know, somewhere on the edge or outside linebacker, um, just because I'm I am like a taller linebacker and I have a lot of length and speed, um, so I could use that more to my advantage on the on the outside or on the edge. Where do you want the Michigan program to be once you're a senior, once you're leading that program? Like, where do you want that program to be once you're the face? I mean, I just want that that defense to be be dominant. I want us to be, you know, a uh, dominant team in the Big Ten on, on top every year, the Big Ten. And, of course, we're, we're shooting for that national championship. I mean, we're hoping to get it this year, but – you know, I, that's my goal too. Uh, as a as a player, I, I mean, I feel like that's everybody's goal. But you know, I I I really think that we could do that at, at Michigan. That's awesome. That's awesome for sure. Now, once you enroll, which will be very soon, once you get acclimated in the program, just once fans start following you and following your career at Michigan, just what should the fans be expected of you once you're on that roster? Yeah, just know uh, I'm gonna be giving everything I have every play, and uh, you know I'm not gonna not gonna back down from anybody or any team, and uh, you know I'm gonna I'm just gonna give everything I have. Awesome, yeah, that's awesome. And then uh, final question for me: I know you're more than just a football player, so once you're in Ann Arbor, what should the fans know about you when you're not practicing, when you're not lifting weights, when you're not studying? Like, what makes Cole Sullivan, you, right? Like, what's your hobbies? What are your interests? What do you do off the field? Um, I don't – that's tough, man. I mean, 
Football, football in school is pretty much my life. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm not on the field, I'm studying. But uh, I mean, I, I guess I could say I like listening to, to a lot of music, um, different types. I like rap. I like country. Um, I like just going out and doing things, whether it's just like bowling or like, I don't know, different activities. Any, I'm, I'm down for anything, but I, I like doing uh, any, any type of physical activity. So I like getting outside and, and doing things outside the dorm. I'm not, I'm not really a, someone that likes to sit around and just yeah, like yeah. watch TV. Yeah, what's your highest bowling score? Like, have you ever hit a 300? <laughs> I've not hit a 300. If I get over 100, that's a pretty good day. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Do you have your own bowling ball? I do not. No. no. Bowling shoes? You just get them all at this. No. At that no. I just, I'm just a walk in. <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that's everyone else. Um, favorite rap artist, favorite country artist? Rap artist, uh, probably Drake, uh, country artist. I got to go. I mean, I got to go with Morgan Wallen. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Awesome, man. No, that's all. That's it. No, we appreciate you getting on. Um, thank you so much again. And we look forward to seeing you in an Arbor. And congrats on signing again. Thank you. Thank you for having me.